Hi, what's up, folks? It is Ty, and this is my final yearly testosterone update video. I'm now six years on T, and I'm wrapping it up. When I first started testosterone, my doctor gave me this like informational printout on the effects of testosterone over time and when to expect certain changes to take place. Of course, none of this information was new to me. I'm like, hi, I watch Skylar Kirgil's three years on T video every day. Like I've been looking this shit up for years, I'm good. I know what I'm signing up for here, let's get it rolling. But one thing that did stick out to me was a line about how the changes from testosterone take place over a six year period. And from then on, I have always held the six year mark as the end of my transition. Now just to clarify so I'm not spreading any misinformation, you're going to see the most noticeable changes within the first few years on T, but there's no cutoff. There's not a definitive time where it all just stops. But in my mind, I had six years to become the ideal male specimen. And as of January 31st in this year, 2020, I am now six years on testosterone. So you might not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I am definitely in a very different place than I expected to be when I was starting my transition. I'm very happy with where I am now, but not for the reasons that I thought I would be. You know, for my first four years on testosterone, I was totally focused on the physical aspect of my transition. Whereas in the last two years especially, the majority of my journey has been entirely internal. Internal, I don't know what this is. Let me give you a slap. Before, for a while there, fitness was like the foundation of my identity and something that I used to measure aspects of my validity. But now, working out is a hobby that I enjoy. It still helps with my dysphoria, but it's no longer a deciding factor. So while I may not be as fit as I once was, I am in a, in a much healthier place. And my relationship with working out and dieting is good. It's all good. <laughs> Another major shift from my early transition is the balance of the feminine and masculine aspects of my personality and expression. I gained the majority of my following during my bro phase. And while I'm still a bro at heart, uh, there's definitely a lot more layers within myself that I'm discovering and becoming more comfortable sharing. I know a lot of people don't like that. Instagram has been very vocal about <laughs> taking issue with my current style, but I'm not worried about it. And that in itself marks a lot of progress, you know, for me and where I hold my worth. There was a time when I cut my hair because of comments that I got on the internet, but not now. Look at this shit. <laughs> And I think that's great. Of course, the physical part of my transition is still huge and probably the sole reason why many of you are watching this video right now. So let's take our last annual walk down memory lane together as we look back at it and compare the physical changes of my transition. Let's start with my voice. Every year I read The Tiger by William Blake to compare. So let's do it. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Wow. Now let's take a look at some pictures. I did actually take a picture on January 31st, the six year mark. So it is an accurate and exact six year comparison. And then finally, my hair. That's the last one. As you can see, my hairline is receding. I don't really care about that. My beard is great. I've got a lot of chest hair. I've got a lot of all, all sorts of hair everywhere. I'm even getting a few on my back now. And you know what? I don't even really care that much. I don't mind it. <laughs> I used to be worried about back hair and now I'm living in the apocalypse. So it's like, <laughs> who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah, that's mostly it. That's my transition. But I'd like to take some time now to offer some transition advice to my viewers. First off, exactly what we're doing here today, I'd like to recommend that everybody document their transition. I know the last thing you wanna do when you're feeling dysphoric is like 
whip out your phone and take a selfie, but having before pictures and videos and recordings of your voice that you can look back on later in your transition will end up being so meaningful. It's made a big difference in my transition. It puts so much into perspective and it helps me appreciate where I am now. Seeing how big the changes are always helps with my dysphoria. And I just really think it's something that everyone should do for themselves. You know, you don't have to post it anywhere. You can hide it away on a flash drive and never look at it, but you should still do it because one day you'll be really happy that you did. My next bit of advice would be to, um, not put too much pressure on yourself. I had these super unnecessary expectations where I thought I needed to have the perfect jaw-dropping transformation. And I ended up doing a lot of unhealthy things trying to meet those expectations. And I absolutely didn't need to. If I could go back in time, I'd tell myself to just chill out, do what feels good, and let testosterone do its job. No two people's transitions are going to look exactly the same. You just gotta trust the process and know your changes are coming. So that's my transition wisdom for you. And that's my six years on T update. Closer to seven years. <laughs> Which at this point, I think posting these videos like later and later throughout the year has itself become a tradition. So really it's only fitting. I know some of you have been watching this channel since that first video and even before that, which is wild to think about. <laughs> I was a very different person back then inside and out and it's really cool to hear that so many people have stuck around and it means a lot that anyone gives a shit about anything i have to say <laughs> there are so many kind and just cool as fuck people who watch this channel and who interact with me on social media and i think that's so fucking dope so thank you for watching and for being here i can't believe this is the last one <sighs> just to clarify i'm i'm stopping the yearly testosterone videos but i'll still be updating on my transition and maybe I'll do like a 10 year testosterone video, something like that. If something happens, I will talk about it transition related, but I always had a, a six year plan for this and now we're, here we are. So yeah, that's it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm at Partar400 on all of those. And guess what folks? We got some new spooky merch with Binks on it and some spooky pumpkins. Christy made these designs, they're very cool. So go check them out. We got sweatshirts and hoodies and mugs and stickers and even a little pet sweatshirt too. So go snag you one of those and send us a picture of you wearing it. And that's it for real this time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon, bye.